I'm making this video because there are no short explanations of Battletech Alpha Strike. This community is addicted to three hour long video essays, and I love it. Battletech Classic is a crunchy simulation miniature game about fighting with big mechs using lots of big brain math for nerds. Alpha Strike is the cool younger cousin made to simulate massive battles or just play a regular battle really fast. That is, unless, of course, you haven't memorized the rules, then enjoy two hours of searching through rule books and using Control F to look up LRM in your PDF. In Alpha Strike, you and one unsuspecting friend you pull to the game table select mechs to pilot. Each mech comes with a card featuring two health bars, its attacks, its skill number, speed, cost, and how hard it is to hit. There is also some fine print at the bottom of the card. You'll want to ignore that unless you're up for the aforementioned two hours of checking rule books. After your superior forces have been assembled, take turns moving your mechs with measuring tape, or you can use a hex map like I do. Then you take turns shooting each other. There's a lot of math involved in shooting your opponent, uh, more than D&D 5e, but less than Battletech Classic. Basically, it's skill, cover, how fast you're moving in the range. Okay, actually, I, it's, there's nothing basic about it. It's a lot of math. You keep repeating this process until one player wins. Battletech is very much a rule set. You and your friend will have to agree on what winning means, but if all else fails, last max standing works. But who are you fighting, and why? You ask me this just before I answer you. How convenient for us both. You can take your pick from such lovely factions, such as Religious Internet Service Provider, Angry Space Furries, your choice of a space empire flavored after a historic stereotype of your choosing, or the weirdos who live on the edge of space, like that cat girl group. Perhaps I should have opened with the cat girls. This game has three main eras to play in and a few others no one likes. Here's the basic rundown of their abridged history by me. Mankind travels into the stars and builds a bunch of feudal space empires. They go to war and nuke a bunch of stuff until they realize maybe nuking planets is a bad idea and agree to just use giant robots instead. Because that was a popular plotline in the 80s or something? Anyways, peace is kind of sort of not at all maintained by the mighty Terran hegemony, basically Super Earth. The Super Earth government falls and their military realizing they can't trust any of the infighting space empires with their big Earth weapons, decide to nope out into deep space, taking most of the weapons with them to build a utopia that will totally not collapse. The ones that stay home hide their own stash of weapons and agree to maintain the holy space internet because as we all know, if the internet goes out, society collapses. This group is called Comstar, and they decide the best way to make sure their kids never stop repairing the routers and space phones is to turn it into a religion. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? I'm sure that won't go wrong. Now, with factories destroyed and more power vacuums than a Dyson factory, the space empires start fighting. Only since the new high-quality weapons can't be built anymore, everyone is forced to keep the old ones in working order or use the gross, smelly new mechs that suck. This time period is known as the Succession Wars. Nerds like the Succession Wars. Eventually, the spooky space military of Earth, uh, the ones that noped out into deep space, decide to become a bunch of furries, naming themselves after jade falcons, sea foxes, steamable vipers. Uh, okay, there has to be a sparkle dog in here, right? <laughs> so the angry furries adopt a very scary caste system, genetically mutate themselves, and then fly home to invade literally everyone. But two significant things have happened to them while they were out in the deeps of spaces. One, they kept inventing new weapons, so their stuff is actually good. And two, their concept of war crimes expanded so far, their concept of war is wholly incompatible with the Space Empire's concept of war. This led to the Space Furries getting very angry at everyone and uh, killing everything. This time period is called the Clan Invasion, and it's probably the most popular. So I'm gonna fast forward here to the next important part of the timeline. Long story short, the religious space internet service provider pulls their super weapons out of mothballs and kicks the space furries butts and makes them promise to behave. Then some time passes and Martin Luther nails his 95 thesis to the church of Comstar, explaining in detail why he should kill everyone with nukes and thus starts a new religion splinter group called the Word of Blake. They are defeated, but this ruined the reputation of the religious internet service providers everywhere. And the biggest space government at the time decided to just genocide them all. Wait, what? That, that was like my favorite faction. Oh right, and then the space furries decided to attack Earth. The wolf ones win because of course they do. And now they're the boss of everyone. 
And that's the Yokan era. You might play in this era because it's technically the era the game is set in now, the present. Have fun!